Hi there. Welcome back to the Curious Giraffe Show. Today we have George and Jerry. Jerry is our newest giraffe and George is our oldest giraffe and they're both curious. Curious about each other and curious about the world. So let's get started with and find out what today will be about. Okay. When we sing together, I feel so much better. It's easy and simple to do. When we sing together, the day just gets better. I love making music with you. And when we read together, I feel so much better. It's easy and simple. find out what our story today will be about. Giraffe looked over at Dorothy and said, I'm curious what book or songs you'll share with us today. Dorothy said, the squash muck will lead the way and we'll share under one big sky. Oh yeah. Share one big sky, share one big sky. Give the world a big yeah, we're different and we know it, but we all get along, cause we can all share, and we can all care, we're different but we all belong, we're different but we all belong, yes we do, whether we're tall and quiet or smaller and colorful, or know what a squash muck is, or we don't know what a squash muck is, we all get along. So today's story is a little different. I don't have it in a book yet, but I wrote this story song and I wanted to spend some time with it and share it with you. I hope you'll like it. Okay, it's time to hear the story of the squash muck. The rain came down and covered the ground creating giant puddles for miles around. We grabbed our boots and our other rain gear cause my sister and I had to get out there. And as we headed to school that day, we found every puddle along the way, clumping and jumping and shouting, make way. We laughed and we splashed, what a beautiful day. And then we felt the air get warm. We stopped to gaze at the passing storm. And as those rain clouds drifted by, we heard the strangest watery cry. A squash muck, a squash muck. Oh, listen for the giggle of a squash muck. He, 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 ooh, ooh, ooh. I'd like to spend the day with you. This is your super duper day of luck. You get to play with a squash muck. Where, oh, where did that voice come from? Then it sang again, go get your mom. So lickety splickety, we ran back home, yelling for our mother who was on the phone. Up in the hall, mama heard our call. Huffing and puffing, we told her all. You have found something great, and this is a day to, to celebrate. For long ago, when I was young, a squash monk asked me to have fun. They're very rare to hear these days. I'm so excited. I'm so amazed. A squash muck, a squash muck. Oh, listen for the giggle of a squash muck. Hee 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 hee. Hoo hoo hoo. I'd like to spend the day with you. This is your super duper day of luck when you get to play with a squash muck. The sun was shining. 
whining now real strong. And mom said, we can't take too long, for they always need fresh rain to come out. When puddles dry up, they're never about. So she brought along a bucket and she scooped up some rain so it wouldn't all be gone when the puddles all drained. Now you have to find it and get it to sing, for squash muck hide and seek's their very favorite thing. So up we jumped and down we splashed. Our boots must have tickled its slippery back. Singing out, it said, you're back. I think I'm going to have a giggle attack. A squash muck, a squash muck. Oh, listen for the giggle of a squash muck. He, 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 he. Hoo, hoo, hoo. I'd like to spend the day with you. school said we wouldn't be there but she didn't say why and she didn't say where cuz who on earth would ever believe that we'd found a squash muck and just couldn't leave we took him home and put him in the sink and ooed and odd and it gave us a wink then it sang out wink schmink don't wait too long, I'll be gone in a blink. I will offer a squash muck thrill, one wish till sundown, then I'll go. Yes, I will. A squash muck, a squash muck, well, listen for the giggle of a squash muck. He, 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 I'd like to spend the day with you. This is your super time. What's your wish? And can you make your wish rhyme? And so in a jiffy I called out loud, could we go flying up on a cloud so everyone could see us up there on a cloud? And whoosh like the wind, we were high in the air, laughing and screaming to the people down there. The cloud was our squash muck, now light as the breeze, as we skimmed over houses and roadways and trees. A squash muck, a squash muck, oh, listen for the giggle of a squash muck. He, 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 hoo, hoo, hoo. I'd like to spend the day with you. This is your super duper day of luck. never believe our incredible ride. But then Channel 9 turned its cameras on us. Then we knew, yes we knew, that there'd be a big fuss. So we asked what to say when the questions all came. And our squash muck replied, just tell them my name. And to treasure the land and the water and air and the creatures like me who live everywhere. Humans forget that their actions have impact. Take care from now on and we just might come back. A squash muck, a squash muck, a listen for the giggle of a squash muck. He, 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 he. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It makes a difference what we do. This is our super Now you've heard the Squash Muck song. 
and let's think for a minute what is a squash muck? Okay, we found out it's an animal and it likes to sing and it likes to play games and it loves fresh water and you hardly ever see one and it makes a wish come true <gasps> so many times when I sing this song children say to me is it real and here is the true story about the squash muck song I made up the song. First I made up the story idea, then I wrote it into a song, and I just totally thought it was a make-believe thing that I wished someday on a rainy, rainy day to find a magical animal. It was a fun idea, why not? So, one day though, I sang the song for a group and there was a grown-up who said, I know what a squash muck is. I know where they live. And I was so surprised because, to be honest, I didn't think they existed. And he told me that he had been in a part of the world where much of the time it was very, very dry, didn't rain very much, and the ground got dry and hard, and that he was told not to drive in this certain area because when it rained, these animals would come up from under the ground. They would come up and swim, and it made the people happy to see them. So he said they existed. I, I just was so surprised. So, he did not say that they make wishes come true. I made that part up. But isn't it okay to wish that you could do something? And in the song, the squash muck wishes for clean water and clean air and for all the animals to be healthy. And I think that's a truly a good wish that could come true. So I want to sing another song that I wrote. It's a story, but it's true this time. Every bit of it is true. Some people 
call them sea cows. I think that's funny, but they say it's true. Although I never heard a manatee moo, but when a speedboat speeds, it can hurt the manatees. So if you're driving, slow down, please, and watch out for manatees. them classified as endangered species they survived and now they are our joy and pride but when a speedboat speeds it can hurt the manatees so if you're driving slow down please and watch out for manatees Now, manatees are real, and if you've never seen one, this is what they look like. This one is a baby. It's a stuffed animal, but this is modeled after the real animal, and they live in the warm waters in parts of Florida, and parts of Asia, and parts of Africa. And you see how gentle they are. They just don't have anything that would hurt anybody. And they, they just eat plants. And But you see how their soft back is? And can you imagine how hard they are to see in the water? So for a while, as boats got faster, they would crash into them and hurt them. And people were very, very worried that they might not survive. And when the school children heard about that, they wrote letters to the grown-ups, to the people in the government and to their parents and to their community. And they got everyone to say that they would post signs to remind drivers of speedboats to slow down. And now you can go and see the manatees in different parts of Florida and perhaps in other parts of the world too, but I've only seen them in Florida. Now, we don't know what a squash muck looks like because I've never seen one, but I'm very excited to hear that there is such a thing. So sometimes when I want to imagine a squash muck, I have taken some clay here's some clay and squashed it hard squeeze 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 squash 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 squish 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 and I flatten and flatten made it thin enough that it could hide in the shallow puddle that could be on your sidewalk or driveway. So I sometimes have made a clay squash muck and I just imagine that they have big eyes looking out, looking up at you. They're sort of like, what I visualize is kind of like a flounder that's flat uh, under the water and swims kind of like that. But I like to imagine big eyes and this big happy mouth that sings out, he 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 he, hoo hoo hoo. I'd like to spend the day with you. So that's one way that I make imagine a squash muck. So you could try that at home. You can get some earth and make some clay and water if you don't have any 
kind of clay at home. Another thing that I've done is sometimes I just take a paper plate and imagine it much bigger, could be much bigger, and I draw, I imagine it kind of blue and camouflaged in nature because people hardly ever see them, right? So I add a blue color, it's camouflaged in the water. Camouflage means it blends in so it's hard to see and that's its protection. Okay, so I made it blue, but you could make one any color you want. For all we know, they could be like birds or flowers that come in many different colors. And then, of course, add the face. And maybe this time, let's imagine the thinner eyes that are careful and don't open very wide because in the water... They might be safer just with thin eyes. I don't know. I like to imagine, but I still imagine that great big smile that can sing out and call out to children and grown-ups. He, 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 who, who, who. I'd like to spend the day with you. But I also had another idea. Since I learned from my friend Gary, that he had actually been to a part of the world where they, there was an animal that lived underground except for when it rained. I was imagining, what if he had, he or she, the animal, had diggers? And so I had the idea of putting clothespins on for diggers. Or... I had the idea of taking a fork and a spoon because you can dig with those. Those would be good tools, wouldn't they? So here's the idea. Maybe their diggers look like a fork, like a trowel in the garden, or like a spoon. That could be like a spade. Is kind of like a spoon in the garden. And I need one more piece of tape. You can experiment, make your own idea because most of us have not seen one. We don't know if they're still around or not. We don't know if they might be or if they might come back or some other kind of wonderful creature. If we take care of the air and the water and the land. So, I would like to finish up with a song by Pam Duncan. And I have it here just a second. Here we go. It's called Walk Lightly on the Earth. Walk lightly on the earth, my friend. Walk lightly on the Wondrous 
black whale, the redwood tree, the eagle soaring high. If the children of our children will know the wonders of these, in our work and in our play, we must remember to walk light. Thank you for spending time with us today with George and Jerry and Dorothy as we explored curious things in our world. Enjoy it and take care of it and we'll see you again soon. Dorothy! Dorothy! What? You forgot the goodbye song. I did. I've been waiting to sing it. I love that song. <laughs> okay. I'm so sorry, Jerry. Let's bring Jerry back up front. And George, you want to come up in front too? There we go. Here we go. Yes, yes, yes. Here we go. <laughs> She's so excited. Okay, here we go. Keep singing. Keep looking up. Keep asking questions and never give up. Keep singing, keep looking up. Keep asking questions and never give up. Okay, so we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Walk lightly on. Thank you.